I set trends, okay? Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's me, it's Chelsea Jackson, and on this channel I talk about fashion, travel, lifestyle, and product reviews. So if any of those things interest you, please make sure you hit the subscribe button as well as the notification bell. So in today's video, I am going to be doing a spring new in, but here's the little surprise. It's going to be my DIY version. <laughs> so it's going to be like a sew and tell, show and tell. So I stole this little idea from one of the fellow ladies here on YouTube. Um, pretty much I saw, I came across one of her videos and she did a sew and tell, so I thought it was cute. So I decided to do a sew and tell. Now, of course, you guys know that I've just started sewing my clothes and things like that. Like, I've, this is something I've been doing ever since I was young. Um, but I'm starting to make clothes now. And I'm pretty much starting picking back up where I left off. So I wanted to show you guys what I created. Because just to give you a little bit about my sewing journey, if you do not know who I am, you can fast forward if you don't want to hear this again. But for the people who are new to me, so pretty much I first touched a sewing machine when I was in the second grade at the girls club. Okay. The first, the very first thing I ever made, I think you're around what, seven at the age or something like that. So I made a pillow, a cute little pillow. Oh my God. I don't know what I did with my pillow, but I had it up until college. I think I ended up throwing, throwing it away eventually. But, um... But yeah, it was a uh, pink. It was pink and red, you know, little florals with the little green, you know, leaves and stuff like that on it. It was so cute, and it was my emotional little pillow. So whenever I would have menstrual cramps or anything like that, I would just hug my little pillow. But anyway, enough of that. But that was the first, very first thing I ever made, and then I picked up my sewing game up, you know, a little through elementary. I just hand sew little stuff. And then in middle school, I hand sewn things. I had a picture in one of my, um, I think my latest, not the last video, but the one before that, I had a picture of myself in eighth grade, in eighth grade with some denim jeans I remade and I cut up and, you know, I designed. So that was eighth grade. In high school, I was setting trends with jeans with the one leg high, one leg low, tie-dye. Like, I was doing a lot of stuff. I set trends, okay? So, um, I did all that. And then I kind of let it go. And then, you know, I went through college and stuff like that. So, I really didn't have a chance to design for real. And then my mom and my grandma bought me a sewing machine. So, I picked back up. I made bathing suits. I made bandos and stuff like that. That was like the early... The mid 2000s, I want to say around like 2008, 9 ish, 10 ish in that era, in that little time frame. And then I kind of let it go. And then I designed here and there, but never like a long span. But because of, you know, I didn't have a lot of time because sewing takes a lot of time. Like you may pick up a pattern and it says sewing time, you know, it'll make, say it'll take an hour to make. Honey, that's just sewing. It ain't telling you that you're going to have to wash the fabric. It ain't telling you that you're going to have to cut it up. It ain't telling you all the measurements and stuff like that. That one hour is just you literally sitting at the sewing machine. It's not telling you all about the prep. So I'm saying all that to say it takes a lot of time. And that's the reason why when you buy handmade things, it costs more money because it takes a lot of time. Time is a resource that no one will ever get back. So, um, time keeps moving forward. So that's why you, you know, handmade garments cost a lot more. But anyway, um, so I decided to go ahead and pick up a sewing machine. I think it was the beginning of this year because it started from mainly, you know, I'm just going to go over the major reasons, but it started mainly over me having to sew, having to um, rehem all of my pants because I would buy pants, but therefore a person who's a size, who's height five, seven, I'm five, two. So I got like this much fabric I got to take off. So, you know, taking it to the seamstress, you know, back, you know, a couple years ago, 
that was like a $10 situation, you know, five to $10 situation. Now it's starting at like $16 and $16 and I'm buying the pants for $25. I'm buying the pants for $25 is going to take another 16 on top of that to alter them. It's not cost effective. It's not smart. And when you have to do, when you're finding yourself doing it for a lot of pants, it's kind of like this $16 is racking up. Okay. And I'm a person too, on top of, you know, the financial aspect, I'm a person too, that when I want something, I want it. There's nothing worse than going in your closet thinking you got an outfit and it's going to look good and it's going to be ready to go and you try on those pants and you forget that you have to get them hemmed. So, I don't know where y'all live, but when I take something to get it hemmed or altered or anything like that, if I, let's just say I take it Monday, I can't get it back until about Thursday or Friday. I like, I like it now. <laughs> so... Being that I can't control how they run their business, I can't control me getting in front of my sewing machine doing it myself and I can have it right now. So, um, my patience is, um, when it comes to certain things, it's just not there and it's not there in that arena. When I want it, I want it now. So, um, I did that. I went ahead and got my sewing machine for that. And then there were certain things that I wanted but then they didn't make it in plus size. So I was like, okay, Chelsea, you can make it yourself. And so that's why I decided to kind of get back in sewing and this time around take it more seriously. So with that being said, I made my own things. So um, I'm just going to show you guys what I have created. Now, a lot of these things are dupes, designer dupes, or just regular store dupes that... I couldn't find nowhere else in plus size and we're gonna start off with the dress that I have on now this dress that I have on is my sample now of course if you follow me on Instagram you've seen the actual dress which is a Zara dupe now they said um, I haven't been on TikTok in a while but they did say that this dress is viral on TikTok this Zara denim dress um, a lot of the fashion girls do have this dress Zara do go up to a size double XL in this stretch denim dress however it only like I told y'all was Zara if it have a zipper it only fits up to a size 16 technically so if you're above a size 16 you're out and I'm an 18 20 so I was out and I really liked it I like it was nice and simple I like the fact that it have a slit in the back now this is a sample the one that I have on so I do not have a zipper or a slit in the back but the one that I have on a, on Instagram it actually does and I'll put a video right here actually and um, it has a slit in the back it has a zipper it's identical to Zara it had the darts right here and it was a nice simple dress and um, as I began to make it I started thinking that this dress can be worn with a lot of things because a lot of women don't like their back out and you know their arms some women are just you know some plus size ladies are self-conscious so I um I know for a fact like this darker one I'm definitely probably going to wear during the fall and the other one I have is a tad lighter it's still dark but a tad lighter and it's a stretchier denim I'm going to wear this in the fall with my Hanifa sweater. Now it's packed up already because I've packed all my fall stuff up. But I think it's going to be very cute with that Hanifa denim sweater. I may just even wear this necklace with it or another choker or something like that. And um, I also tried on my other one with my Dior scarf. So even if you don't have a Dior scarf, you can just find a cute scarf to wear of your arms and this is cute. You can wear it with a white pop on the top. I can even wear it with my uh, Zara denim jacket. This is with my Zara denim jacket. Now, of course, um, I prob I wouldn't wear it with this necklace because this necklace make it a little bit too dressy. But yeah, so you can definitely wear it like this. And if you follow me on Instagram, you know that I posted Zara just came out about two weeks ago with a lighter version for the spring of this jacket and um, it's linked 
and my Zara links below as well. So go and check that out. Y'all know I love it because of these two hanging. I have on a double XL. It does zip up. I mean button up and everything like that. If you want to go see this in its entirety, just look at my Zara haul that I did last year around November. You'll see that there. So it's just a few videos back. And yeah, I think it's cute like this. Something nice and simple. And if you got that Zara cape that I told y'all about last year. Well, yeah, it was it? Yeah, it was last year. Wow. Okay. If you got the Zara cape I was telling you guys about last year, you can wear it with this so that way your back isn't exposed and your arms are covered, but you're still able to see the jacket. So yeah, and you can pop the collar, you know, make it look funky and fresh. <laughs> But yeah, so this is um, another way you can wear it. Also, if you got that Zara shirt I told y'all about, that linen shirt that I bought, it's linked below as well. It's still available. I got this in a size double XL. So if you do not want to wear your back out, you can just simply put this on. I mean, it'll show a little skin, but you see how this look? Just a regular shirt, and we turn around. And we give it a little play action. So you have a little, well, even though you don't have a peep, it covers it. So it covers everything, and you still get to see the back. Now, if you want to give that auntie feel, that fly fresh auntie, <laughs> you can tie it up right here. You can pop the collar. Well, this collar, I'm going to have to iron it. But, yeah, you can pop the collar and kind of give it that look. You know what I mean? So, yeah. I like this white against this dark denim. Hmm. Yummy. So, yeah, these are just different ways that you can wear this dress. Um, they do have summertime cardigans, of course, y'all know. So, you can wear it with a mesh cardigan. It's a lot of different ways you can wear it if you do not want your arms and everything out if you're self-conscious so I love this dress so much so I decided to sell it <laughs> well, about a week or so ago about a week and a half ago two weeks I offered this dress for sale um and you guys y'all you know well you guys here on YouTube didn't know but on Instagram and I got quite a few sales so I stopped the sales because I wanted to do things in batches because I wanted to make sure I get the items to everybody in time. So, um, and I just didn't want to bite off too much more than I could chew. So, I had some people place orders. I went ahead and made their dresses. So, everybody got their dress. Well, they probably will be getting them by tomorrow. Because I do priority shipping. But anyway. So, um, yeah, I sent them a video of their dress. And, you know, I made sure I sh sent them their shipping and all that. But yeah, so I'm excited for everybody to get their dresses. So I am going to open up the orders today, actually. So if you want to place an order, uh, and if you're on Instagram, make sure you go to my Shop is Chelsea Jackson page, and I will link that below as well. Make sure you read the store policies. I'm very straightforward, cut to the chase. Um, so, you know, make sure you read the store policies. Everything is there. I don't hide information. And um, then go ahead and place your order by sending a DM of your size and sending a cash app. Um, your order will not count as placed or be acknowledged until I receive the payment. All right. All right. So that's the thing with that. So if you want to, if you want this dress, make sure you go get it. Now, um, now this is a darker denim, so you may not want that one. Um, the other one. This one have more stretch. This one right here is way more constricting, which is a good thing because it helps tuck you in. <laughs> this one helps tuck you in a little bit. The other one does too, so both help tuck you in, but the other one is very, very stretchy, and it feels more comfortable like the other one. I like it a lot more because I can see myself wearing it to jazz in the park, wearing it to a festival. Or just, you know, the family cookout doing an electric slide. This one right here, honey, you want to just be, you know, you go to a restaurant or you go somewhere special, eat your food and go somewhere and sit down. This one ain't that comfortable like that. It's still stretchy, 
but the other one is very stretchy and it's very comfortable so um i'll be making it in that um but you just let me know which one you would like it in this darker one that's more reminiscent of zara denim uh the denim dress because they have it in that really really dark denim or let me know if you want it in that very stretchy comfortable one so you can wear it almost anywhere so that's the thing with that oh my god i spent a lot of time next up is this asymmetric skirt now this is a designer dupe there you have it and guys i really really liked it when i saw it and i was like i want one myself because that's the thing you know with a lot of these pieces they are like i said dupes so yeah this is her what i did is took a pair of blue jeans i sewed it together overlapped it and then i just cut it on a curve so yep yeah, this is it next up are shorts that you guys have all seen which are the feather shorts the black shorts that i had um you guys probably have seen these multiple times so it's not new to y'all but of course they have some designer ones um and they're blue but i think i'm gonna do the blue too i think i'm gonna do the blue for the summer but i just wanted these i had these for the fall and i just thought that they were just so cute and just so grand and i wanted to make some so yeah these are really cute i got a lot of compliments on these um and you know i guess i could sell these too so let me know if you guys want some i don't know i'll put these for sale as well on shop is chelsea jackson so yeah let me know so it'll just be in regular denim and it'll be in these black as well all right so um of course y'all saw me on instagram i styled it up with my shop mousse tie up detail top i also have been working on a blazer i'm not done with it just yet it's a project that i kind of put on the back burner but I think I'm going to restart it with another one. But y'all know the open black back blazer. So I found this. It's a double breasted blazer. And I did the back. But I'm going to have to find another one. Because I don't like how high I went up in the back. So I think these will be cute style together. Um, especially if you're going out for a dinner or something like that. But my Jacquemus top. I just styled it up with that. On Instagram just something nice and simple but you can wear almost any kind of top with it you can wear a button down that tucks in um, you can wear a button down that's kind of long like I did on my Instagram story when I did the video for Valentine's Day so yeah these shorts they're really cute for my sew and tail is my Obi belt my denim Obi belt now this is something that I just put together this morning. Honey, this is a sample. So yeah, I decided to make one because it's hard finding one. <laughs> Hold on, let me turn around in the mirror and put it on. Okay, so this is the denim Obi belt. So this is, like I said, it's a sample that I put together this morning because I had in mind i wanted to do an ob belt i saw one that was um an ob belt is a design is not necessarily Lueve, <laughs> but um i did so i think it is Lueve. the one that i did see though it was like a gold metallic one and i thought it was cute it had like the asymmetric like roundabouts so one was longer and one was shorter and i because i didn't want to do the traditional the one with the peak bottoms, the traditional Lueve belt. Um, so I wanted to try this one out and I wanted one in denim. Because denim, of course y'all know right now denim is a thing thing. And um, I wanted to try it so I can have it to wear over my poplin tops or dresses or anything like that to give me some character. So um, I probably wouldn't wear it with this particular dress. But... Um, there's quite a few dresses I think I can wear with it to kind of spruce things up a little bit. But I wanted to check it out and I really like it. I really like it. I wore, I've made it out of some denim jeans. 
and I ripped them apart and sewed them back together. So yeah, really, really love this Obi belt. And um, yeah, that's my last. And then the back, I gotta figure out how I want to do it. So it's still a work in pro. Oh, man, I untied it. So it's still. So the back is still a working progress. So, but yep, this is my sample of the Obi belt. Let me know what you think. And I have to tighten up the waist as well. <coughs> But yeah, I wanted to do this because it's hard finding an OB belt for a plus size. Um, I saw someone that was a size 18 that tried on the Loewe OB belt, but it's a large gap. So I kind of didn't want that. Um, but yeah, all in all, it's hard finding a plus size anything. And that's why I'm really doing this. Because some of us are classic. Um, meaning that we like classic styles and some of us we like to be on trend and they almost make it impossible for us to be on trend as a plus size person because they refuse to make anything uh, that we like if it ain't flowers they ain't got time so um, yeah I don't know and what I mean by flowers I meant flower print they think we all want to wear flower, floral print everything. But this is it from the back. I got to work on it and figure out how I want to make that back come together. But yeah, so I just wanted to show you guys this. Next up is a designer dupe. And it came from the same designer as the, you know, the little swoop asymmetric skirt that I created. And I thought it was so, so cute. So I wanted to make it myself. With the denim top and the mesh bottom, I love the contrast of the two fabrics. I thought it was so cute, and I, a lot of y'all, I guess, thought it was cute, too. Because I got a lot of hits on Instagram when I did my DIY thing on there. So, yeah, this is another as well. And, um, yeah, I like it. It's one of my favorite pieces thus far. Um, so, yeah. That's the end of this sew and tell. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I um, The reason why this video is a little bit longer is because I did want to take time in the beginning to give y'all what made me start doing this. Well, start back because it's new to y'all. But um, what made me get into sewing and designing and things like that. So you guys kind of know from here on out when I, if I ever do a sew and tell or whatever, you know, you know the root of what's going on um because if you're new to me um if you will if you've been watching me you'll see i've been kind of dipping this information in a lot of my videos in the past but i kind of just wanted to bring it together so everybody will have like one centralized place to come if they ever want to hear my background and why i started so that's the point of this video so yep and if you're looking at the necklace and you're like the necklace, it's in my Amazon store. These bib necklaces, yeah, I know y'all probably haven't seen these in ages. <laughs> this used to be a thing in the 2000s, uh, the early 2000s. Uh, well, really mid-2000s, like 2010 era. So, I saw it and I was like, I want one. So, And then I'm starting to prioritize silver in my wardrobe right now. So, yeah, that's where this came from. Alright guys, so I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram at It's Chelsea Jackson. And shop It's Chelsea Jackson to order the dress and the shorts. And TikTok. I'm going to start prioritizing being on TikTok. So yeah, TikTok at It's Chelsea Jackson as well. If you're not on Instagram, you can um, order via inbox. Send me an email at it's Chelsea Jackson at yahoo.com. You can order there if you're not on Instagram. Again, my email is it's Chelsea Jackson at yahoo.com. All right. Bye.